Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I have a review video as always. I'm always coming back with review videos on this new mascara by L'Oreal. And it is called Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll. Now obviously um, Mega Volume, they had the Mega Volume, I believe the Miss Punky, um, the Miss Manga as well. Um, now what caught my attention with this, it has got the cutest packaging. Now I'm a sucker for anything um, pastel pink, so if it's pastel pink, I will buy it. Now as you can see these are by L'Oreal as well, and look at the colour, pastel pink. I had to buy it. Do I use it that often? No, but it's pastel pink so I bought it. What was very intriguing is that it's called Miss Baby Roll. I, at first I thought it said Miss Baby Doll, so I was like, oh cute, okay. But um, which is very interesting actually, L'Oreal have come out with a teal blue mascara. I'm feeling the spring vibes, the spring summer vibes coming in. They're really following the trends for this year. Obviously, you know, it's just um, about to, well, I think it's just hit um, spring. So, you know, winter's gone basically and um, spring's coming. March 26th, we're going forward an hour. I don't remember, I've confused myself, but March 26th, the time's changing, so it's going to be longer days and shorter nights, which is my favourite because I like brighter days. But anyway, they've come out with a teal blue mascara and a black mascara. Now, I've already opened this up just to see what the brush looks like, and I'm like... Oh! This is a very interesting um, style of brush. So let me just show you the black one. Or let me show you the blue one, actually. So this is the teal blue one. Now look at the, the, the shape and the style of this brush. So obviously you can see why it's called Baby Roll because it's like a spiral applicator. It is very, very interesting to me. So I'm, I'm very um, intrigued by how this will look on my eyelashes. So what I've decided to do today, I'm going to use the black on my top um, lashes and then the blue on my bottom. Um, only because I don't exactly want to go to work with one eye with black mascara and one eye with blue mascara. So let me just make it a little bit stylish and put at least one on top and one on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, my, I've done my whole face right now. Um, all I need to do is just my... I haven't done my whole face. I haven't done the highlight, my lips and whatever. But um, I just wanted to get started on the eyes. So... I'm going to get started. My eyelashes have not been curled at all, so I'm just going to curl them. Okay, so my eyelashes are fairly done. Um, before I get started, I'd like to mention that these are $7.99. I bought them for $7.99, but mind you, these just came into my workplace um, probably like two or three days ago. So they're extremely new. They're not even coming out, I don't think, anytime soon. I'm not exactly sure when they're going to come out. Probably on the next promotion, which is, I believe, April 4th. Um, or April 5th they're coming out I'm not exactly sure about that I have to double check but I have a feeling this is coming out for the next promotion for the new month so this might be the new products for April for L'Oreal if I see anything else that's new I've actually seen a new barrier mascara it's called that's how we roll as well so funny they both have the word roll in it so I don't know if this is some sort of trend or something but um, I've seen that but I was more intrigued by the teal and the black of this and, and the pastel pink, so I just bought it. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get started on my top lashes. So it claims to be mega volume, so I'm expecting some lift. I'm expecting some, you know, a bit of zhuzh on my eyelashes because my eyelashes cannot keep a curl, honestly. So I'm really intrigued by the brush. So here's the black side of one. This is the black version since I showed you the teal very interesting for some reason the style of this reminds me of um those spiky rollerballs in call of duty um and i've completely forgotten which one infinite warfare um the spiky rollerballs that kill you um and it reminds me of resident evil i don't know why but just the style of it i just immediately think of call of duty and resident evil but hey let's get on with it no more game talk <laughs> This is a very interesting brush. Now, I can see there's a little, there's like these little um, spaces where there's mascara in it. Um, so I believe that's where you get the mascara from and the brush just kind of removes the clumps. That's my guess so far. 
obviously because it's so new there's no details on this mascara whatsoever so um i have no product details so i'm just going by the name on the packaging mega volume the only thing i'm trying to avoid is clumps so that's why i am running it through as many times as i can to apply a nice layer of mascara but also you know to see if it clumps up at all so this is the first layer of mascara just so everyone can see it i'm just going to look up for you all and it doesn't look that bad if i look straight i'm not exactly sure if it looks curly curly but or volumized but Right now it's clump free and I'm enjoying it. Now to be honest I don't have the best eyelashes for mascara but not everyone in the world does. So that's why I'm testing it out to see maybe it might work with your eyelashes. So I'm going to do the other eye as well. There's always one eye that everything comes out better on and um, for me it is eyeshadow on this eye and for this eye that I'm working on right now it's mascara mascara always works better in this eye for me so you know we have those days now this is the first layer on both eyes Now, me personally, I don't see nothing wrong with it actually, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of liking it, but then again, my eyelashes go straight immediately, like no matter what. Um, but I always had a perfect duo mascara and they kept my eyelashes up, but you know you've got to find your perfect match. But I'm just testing this out and seeing how it goes. The, it's just the shape of the brush is very interesting to me, like I would never have thought something like that would actually work with my eyelashes and I can see it working now I'm going to do a second layer on my top lashes with the black um, only because I just want to see how it layers up if it clumps with a second layer um, so yeah I'm just going to do that for me personally I like my eyelashes to stand out because I never usually think I have any so when I have one layer on, it's not enough mascara for me because it doesn't thicken up my lashes as much as I want them to be, like thickened, but without being clumpy. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here because it's getting really thick now. So I'm getting a little bit <laughs> sketchy. I'm getting a little bit scared because I don't want it to get too much. Like I feel like if I keep trying to remove the thickness, it's gonna get even thicker. So this is the second layer on this eye so I'm stopping right now because I don't want it to get too thick so that's how it looks like if you can see so I'm gonna stop there for that one and I'm gonna do a little bit more on the other eye and then I'll start on my lower lashes I'm gonna stop I'm going to stop Caroline, stop right now. Oh, but this one eyelash. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. You know when you try to fix something and it just gets worse? Okay, Caroline, leave it. Leave it. Leave it alone. Okay, so this is both of my eyes. Not going to lie, they're very thick right now. So I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to walk into work and it looks really comfy. But... This is two layers. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. For now, I mean, they're very noticeable, which is good because my lashes aren't usually noticeable, but um, the shape and the style of this, especially this side, I feel like I do, I always use this term of like fly's legs, cause you know fly's legs are kind of crooked and stuff. And there was that meme, this picture of like fly's legs stuck on someone's actual eyeball, like eyelid, sorry, not eyeball, that's gross. Um, it's gross anyway, but 
on their on their eye line i i root like i've completely lost my wording but it's because they're so jumbled up that's how i feel they are well it's dry already so i mean but let me just try and maneuver this because it looks clumpy okay it done the job i put mascara on my eyelashes volume not sure yet but you can still see my eyelashes my eyes look open, which is nice. Um, I'm going to try the Teal Mascara on my lower lashes. If you can see at the bottom of this, you can see that this is actually a clear casing of a, like for the product, clear. And the product actually is filling up this little section. You can see at the bottom where it hasn't exactly pushed the product all the way at the bottom. I just thought that was nice. But with the black one, it's just a black casing. It's not actual you know see-through casing to see the mascara but you get to see the mascara here so this is real the real color of the mascara um i'm just gonna put this on my bottom lashes if i'm feeling cheeky i might just put a bit of blue on the on the ends of my top lashes just why not but let me try it i'm kind of scared of this mascara one because it's quite big for my lower lashes my lower lashes are pretty much non-existent so i feel like i'm gonna get this everywhere <laughs> It's a really beautiful blue though, I must say. Definitely feeling the spring, summer trend coming through with this. If I just come close to the camera. It's really pretty, really, really pretty. So this is what it looks like with the blue mascara. So I've got the black mascara on the top and the blue on the bottom. I'm kind of liking it actually. This is really nice. There's no, obviously there's no waterproof ones yet. When it's a new mascara, they don't usually put out a waterproof one unless it's a very popular mascara. Um, so they don't release waterproof ones until after they realize it's really really popular so i'm just going to continue to finish off my makeup and then i'll come back right at the end and i'll tell you my verdict on this mascara okay so now i've finished my everything i'm highlighted i'm everything my lips are done this is my final look so this is what i'm going out with and it looks kind of crazy on camera with the blue mascara but not gonna lie in person it doesn't look that bad i mean people will probably think why the hell does she have blue mascara on her lower lashes only but that's the style that's what i'm going for makeup has no rules so do what you want i say this to customers all the time when they're like oh but am i allowed to use it for this i said makeup has no rules you can use anything you want for anything it doesn't matter there's no rules but anyway on to my final verdict of this so these two mascaras teal oh sorry teal and black um by the mega volume miss baby roll um i was very 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 intrigued by the design of the brush i didn't really think it would work well due to the fact that rubber brushes don't really work well with my eyelashes because they clump up really easily and coming like you know on with the clumping up section my eyelashes slightly i mean they didn't clump up as badly as other mascaras have clumped up my eyelashes which is good i don't there's nothing really wrong with my eyelashes although the fact they look the top mascara the the black it, it's made my lashes look a little bit messy in a way Maybe that's because, I don't know, when I sleep on my lashes here and I sleep on my lashes there, the corners really get crumpled up. But, um, I mean, it's not that bad, to be honest. I don't see a problem with it. With other people who have, like, maybe curly eyelashes already or eyelashes that actually just, you know, work with them, that aren't rebellious, it would probably look really, really, really nice. I have a lot of customers coming in looking for blue mascara, so this is something that will probably save them because the only brand um, in my store that sells blue mascara is Collection 2000 and it's really a, like electric blue. So maybe this, I mean a gentle amount of this could be nice, but just to let you know, it's very pigmented, so that's really nice. That's something you want to hear. You don't want a watery, watered down blue color you want it to come out 
as as you see it and it does so it's true to its color which is really good of course i mean i feel like l'oreal will you know perform at a higher quality um because they are the higher end of drugstore you know their, their products aren't cheap um i wouldn't say they're like cheap cheap compared to like mua they aren't cheap so um i mean i don't see anything wrong with these mascaras if you like the plastic applicator wands then go ahead this is really for you i mean again if you want to see the wand it is it is i don't know if there's another wand exactly like this but it's a very interesting shape and i'm i'm here for it i'm living for it because it's quite cool i'm not gonna lie i like it and then um, you can see the gaps in between where there's lots of mascara around it and then you can see the the actual like bristles so i mean it's quite it's quite cool in my opinion i love the packaging the pastel pink bought me straight away as soon as i saw the pastel pink and the light blue i was like yes i've got to buy it so i mean i'm a sucker for packaging as well it's a cute packaging and it's nice i don't see a problem with it so to be honest it's a good mascara i'm, I'm not saying it's fantastic like amazing for my eyelashes because for me i mean this this eye looks really messy but maybe that's just because i did too much mascara i don't know maybe maybe not i can't help it I mean, for other people, it would probably work beautifully. You never know. Everyone's got different eyelashes. Everyone's got different eye application techniques. But yeah, I mean, I'm loving the blue. You could use you could use this for so many different eye looks, which is beautiful. So I'm loving this. I've got so many mascaras now. But um, yeah, I think it's I think it's an all right mascara for seven ninety nine. Um, side note, when this probably comes out, this will probably be at a cheaper price than the original price. Now, because obviously it's not out yet, I think I've paid full price for it. Yeah, I think I've paid full price for it, unless it's meant to be $9.99 or $11.99. I doubt it will be $11.99, but for sure it's either $7.99 or $9.99. But I paid $7.99 for this. I feel like it might be this price when it comes out, but I'm not exactly sure about that. So I'll see when it actually comes out. But there we go, that's my final verdict. It's a good mascara. I love the, the spring summer trend that's coming in now. So they're really, they're really following it and I love it. So I love when brands come in with the trends. It just, it just makes me excited for spring summer. So I just love it. So yeah, that's it. If you guys did like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. If you do have any requests, please let me know. I will gladly do them for you. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.